Hello, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to everyone. Uh, yes, so uh, I'm very proud to, to represent Singapore and, and uh, more particularly the Singascope uh, project that has been starting now from one year here in Singapore. So I will try to, to have a, first to give you a, a, the context and a global overview of this, uh, of this network and, uh, and then to try to focus on the, on the problem of data management and analysis. So Singescope, it's a Singapore-wide microscopy infrastructure that, uh, that have been built uh, since one year now, so we are pretty young. So it's four research organizations with seven microscopy platforms uh, now, but we, the, the aim is to be able to, to bring all the microscopy platform in this kind of, of networks. So uh, the key objective, as I will say, as all network in microscopy field, is to give access uh, for all scientists to excellent microscopy infrastructure and expertise. Also based on, the, on what has been also, uh, already developed in, in Australia, uh, to develop a searchable online database of resources and to have a more uh, strategically expand of the capabilities and, and, and particularly to avoid any duplication in terms of, of equipment here and to develop all the human capital in terms of uh, educating scientists and also in terms of training facility staff. And of course, for all of that, we, we need the global bioimaging network. Clearly for us, it's very important to, to to have our chance to, to have a, a voice in that and to be able to exchange uh, the experience and knowledge and to engage uh, Singapore, sorry, internationally. So very briefly, because I think that you have already uh, this kind of things and I've shown this kind of things. So uh, Singescope is to be able to have, a, to have one access or one single door that a scientist can open and to, to knock to have some, uh, some help from platform experts and to have some consultation in terms of, of imaging, in terms of image analysis or training or a la carte services, for example. In all case, this is what we try and what we are starting to do is to have this kind of, of unique uh, door uh, for all the researchers in Singapore and to help all the, this kind of scientists, to help them to, to go through all the process of, of data generation, of data acquisition, uh, through all the publication, until the publication. So all this work will be shared uh, all around the, the, the country, which is a city here in, in Singapore. So now, uh, so it was, it was to give you, you the, the global context here in Singapore. Uh, now I will try to, to describe a little bit more precisely uh, what's going on in terms of management of data and processing of images. So first, uh, here in, uh, in CELC, which is one of our, of, of our uh, platform, sorry, in uh, NTU University, uh, what they, they provide is, uh, as a lot of microscopy uh, platforms, they provide support users in, in terms of image analysis. So they develop a lot of routine in Fiji and also super resolution image reconstruction. Um, they based uh, mainly the microscopy data, the storing, uh, sorry, of the microscopy data on uh, using Omiro server, uh, where users can uh, generally store their image data. Uh, in their case, uh, they have, uh, they have uh, NTU Dataverse, which is uh, mandatory for all, uh, for all users to, to, to depose or to, yeah, to have uh, store their image in, in this kind of, of server uh, before publication. So it was for CELSI. Now we move to CBIS at the National University of Singapore. So they did also a lot of, of uh, support, uh, a lot of users support, sorry, in terms of image analysis, a lot of, of uh, bioimaging module in university and also co-organization of workshop. 
Uh, here, I try to highlight so, some uh, some some important feature here. Uh, so it's it's about yeah computational power. Uh, it's it's also something that we've got here is to have an internal IT facility, which help a lot uh, by handling all the the image uh, data. And also in terms of storing of microscopy data, so it's very important to have a huge, uh, of course, a, a huge uh, storing uh, capacity. In their case, uh, what they mentioned is that there is, they provide only a limited time period for, for the storage on, the, on, the, on their server, sorry, and they charge for longer term storage. Um, so let's move now for A star uh, from, uh, uh, Graham Wright and John Lim. So they are also involved a lot in image analysis training courses, including image ethic, which is very important to provide this kind of, of behavior, this, this kind of, you know, of, of, of good practice in terms of, of image analysis. So they develop a lot of, of Fiji Macro also, and they are starting to implement the Omiro also. Uh, they provide access to commercial software and also uh, they can do on-demand uh, storage of, of, big, uh, of big data. Uh, what is quite interesting here in this case is that uh, under the ASTAR publication policy, they have to declare and to sign uh, from the person who generates the data through the person who analyzes the data through the person also who created the, the final figure and table, which is uh, quite interesting, uh, even if it could be quite boring or, or could be a nightmare at the beginning for a researcher. Uh, it, it is clearly interesting to have this kind of, 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 of pipeline of uh, traceability uh, to be able to go back to, to, the, to the raw images. Um, yeah, sorry. And also they mentioned uh, that there is a dedic dedicated bioinformating institute that is available at ASTAR also. And they provide, uh, thanks to the COVID, uh, they provide a lot of bio, bio image analysis online uh, for this year. So it was, it was very helpful also for that. So now let's move uh, for our part. So here at uh, MBI, uh, which is a Mechanobiology Institute. So we are a microscopic facility. We are three people, uh, including me, involved in developing uh, a Fiji or Imagey routine or even MATLAB code as collaboration or services for all, uh, all users. We are also involved, like everyone, in image analysis training or courses. Uh, we are starting to implement uh, the OMIRO uh, in, uh, in here uh, using our IT core. So it's, it's also something that we, we can count on that. It's very important for us. And uh, I have to say that uh, I'm used to work in France. It's, it's not the same. Uh, and here we can have a strong IT core within the institute, which is clearly helpful for us to, to develop. And based on that, we, we have also developing a dedicated working group with some of uh, researchers on artificial intelligence approaches uh, to test uh, and to treat the images. So here is our storage capacity and our transfer speed. And as I said, we can have uh, AI dedicated servers that could be very helpful to, to proceed and to have all our, our you know, uh, best friends, CNN or neural network uh, to, to proceed for all the image analysis, uh, AI uh, on, on images. Um, in terms of data managing and backup policy, uh, more or less there is nothing that is centralized, more or less like in Japan. Uh, it's on the shoulder of each PI, of each team leaders, to take care of their, of their space of storage of image of data. Uh, we have planned we, together with the IT core once again to have a, to, to schedule a big data backup uh, data archiving uh, every six months. So it's, it's ongoing, it's not done already. Um, I will take the opportunity of this also to, to, present, uh, to present a project that I, I have submitted this year in the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative as an imaging scientist. 
So, so this project was to take uh, to take the advantage and and the well known um, domain in high content screening or private or big pharma company is that they already use this kind of of streamline or workflow from the raw images through the process images and to be able to to have all your data classification and results and they have all of this kind of of uh, traceability from the beginning to the end which is mandatory in their case but i think that this is something that we can think about it's it's not to rebuild something because there is huge uh, tools and very fantastic tools in terms of uh, annotation or image handling tools and also in terms of image and anal analysis tools using uh, for example cell profiler image but also all the all the network that have been developed under python or github and so on to process the imaging and, and to use uh, the force of the of the of the of the ai on these images and and the point here is to be able to to build and to bring together or to put together some some basic block of of this and to develop uh, for new for me uh, what is a piece that is missing in this uh, in this workflow it's to build uh, a new data mining tool which could be cool called, for example, image data rider, which is more or less like the cell profiler analysis, but with more uh, modern, I will say, um, um, display and presentation uh, of, the, of the results, representation of the results, which will be um, uh, mandatory to be able to do all the visual exploration of, of the big uh, dimensional data that we can generate now, uh, thanks to our, our favorite microscope and to be able to, to, to have this kind of big riding zone that will help all the biologists, all the users to grow, direct, not directly, but more easily uh, to go to the publications. Um, so th th that's, that's our initiative here uh, in, in Singapore. So once again, thank you uh, for, for your attention and I would like to, to thank uh, the National Research Foundation here to sustain the Singescope project, which is co-funding also with uh, our institution. So the, the National University of Singapore, ASTAR, uh, the NTU, Nanyang Technology University, and also the SingHealth. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. May I ask you a question? Yeah. You have introduced several imaging facilities in yes. Singapore. And, uh, is there any uh, activity as the network? For example, co-organizing meeting or courses? Yes, yes. This is something that we have um, we have discussed, and and it, everything is ongoing. The first year of of Sangascope was uh, more or less to 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 do all the le legal paperwork, etc. Mm -hmm. To 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 have all our, our you know all the statues and so on. So now we are moving to a more uh, I wish interesting part or more scientist part to be able to co-organize some workshop or to co-organize some training and so on for that and also maybe to share some uh, some staff between different uh, platform and so on so uh, all all this all this discussion are ongoing yes with Graham and so on mm, thank you very much come uh, Questions, other questions? Uh, John Erickson, you have a question? Uh, thanks, Naoto. Actually, it relates to the previous presentation, yeah. and, and we had a small oh. discussion on this already. Thanks. Okay. Okay. If there's no more question, uh, let's move to the next speaker, uh, who is uh, Paula Martinez from Australia.